I'm going to take you on a little tour of my uh, yard flowers. I'm at the front of the house and uh, this is a pot which you see uh, uh, petunias lower the red or I, I like to call it lipstick the uh, white alyssum and the snapdragons which are unusually tall this is the very end of March in the Phoenix Arizona area and now you see uh, the flowers those are dianthus this is pretty much the time when everything is really really um, blossoming at least for this season Arizona has two or perhaps three growing seasons uh, the bushes are the one in the middle is new that's a Asian jasmine. The two on the outside have been around for quite a long time, and I think they're um, not exactly sure. I started to say uh, natal plum, but I'm not sure about that. But you can see the dianthus and how pretty they are. I also love the purple flowers there, and there's some more there. That's uh, lobelia. And uh, this up front. So here's the petunias up front, close, and the snapdragons. You can see I've got winter grass. My neighbor and I kind of share uh, a lawn here. And uh, then walking up the sidewalk, now, you can look at my neighbor's pots. They're really, really beautiful. Uh, I, those are two bougainvillea bushes that I've just trimmed, and so they're, they're going to be blooming for the summer. This is a uh, Italian uh, palm tree that I've taken down and I'm going to take out. This right here is part of my pride and joy. That's a jasmine that will, in two or three weeks, be just full of blooms. And down here you have some more of the red dianthus and the purple flowers that I love. This is, uh, uh, that bush is pretty common. I want to say elephant something. Uh, here's a bougainvillea that is growing on a trellis. Uh, this will show you how brilliant. These are just ground covers more or less. This alyssum and the lobelia, two different types. That's a uh, um, Texas sage, not blooming yet, but this is, I love this, this is a pyracantha, which you can see the red berries, but they're they're about ready to drop and the, the uh, blossoms will be the future, the berries for next year. Um, here's the walkway around to the backyard and more petunias, uh, more of those ground cover. And this in by the front door, that's a gardenia. There's some more of that uh, ground cover. And that is a, uh, oh, I can't think, lavender. This is one of my favorite bushes. It's actually a, a, a dwarf myrtle. So looking down here, this is the young tree that's going to develop more petunias. This is a um, sweet potato plant that that grows like crazy. This is a young uh, boxwood bush that's going to cover that grate which hides our trash area. This is uh, double vines. I just put that that green vine in and the top is is uh, lantana you can see some flowering that'll just fill up this is a hop seed bush that's now kind of a tree and now we're getting into the backyard and you can see all the petunias the pink petunias interspersed with alyssum and there's a bush there that won't 
bloom much until summer, but you can see maybe down there a little blue uh, flower. So that's going to bloom that way. So here's my backyard, two storage sheds, and there's a, a lemon tree over in the corner. There's some more petunias. These are kind of my hedge bushes. And here's some more beautiful flowers again, the petunias, and some different colors in this alyssum. More of that, and azalea. Now, just a glance, this is my patio, which I've redone. Uh, you can see the wall that I, I put up this spring. It was my COVID project. And look at the, the little, I mean, look how profuse these petunias are. And then here's some flowers below that. Um, there's our little girl with the petunias. And that uh, bird bath in the back will be, um, will be summer uh, vinca growing out of that. But again, this is a picture of our patio. And this is a bougainvillea that is just now starting to bloom and it'll be fully bloom. If you go this way, there's the orange tree, which is just now completing its budding. If you get up really close, you can see that uh, lots of little would-be oranges. Now, it could never support all the oranges. So 80% of those will drop off, but there'll still, still be 100 or so oranges. And now here's another bougainvillea. And when this thing grows like crazy in the summer, it'll all be great big long branches dro drooping over the patio. Um, again, kind of a little raised garden bed here. And some more back there. This is kind of the alleyway, which is not very clean right now. But I do want to show you, this is what Joanne looks at looking out the window uh, from the kitchen. And uh, this is a hanging basket, again, petunias. And this is what we look at as we look out our bedroom window. And that's a uh, lantana, which is a brilliant color. So anyway, uh, lots of fun. This is another um, pyracantha. This pyracantha is about 25 years old, almost as old as the house. And you can see that the right now it has both the berries and the blossoms. The blossoms are new, the berries are old. They'll drop or the birds will get them. This is one of my favorite. It's It loves heat and cold. I've never seen a plant quite like this. And it needs to be pruned a lot because it's it grows like crazy. So here's a maybe a longer view picture of the backyard. Uh, like that. And I guess that's it.